So uh, the next one, and this will be the uh, the biggest uh, section of this podcast, I, I have a feeling, uh, technology then and now. So obviously the first thing we need to talk about is the Vonnie podcast, uh, vonniepodcast.com. Uh, you know, there's, uh, there's art, you guys, as you know, you can go to, uh, you can actually go to websites, you can, uh, read articles, you can listen to podcasts and you can download stuff, uh, you know, to your devices and watch and listen later. It's a really incredible thing. Um, uh, but yeah, that didn't exist when, uh, when, uh, you know, Ray was out in his polyethylene agent. Uh, it just didn't. Uh, and Vonnie book too, uh, there was, uh, uh, I guess a few articles, maybe, you know, letters, propositions. I, I, I'm not sure the best way to put it, but Ray was talking, he was uh, hypothesizing about a, an idea for a new form of self-liberational media. And uh, essentially what this, what this would be is, uh, you know, you have a little tape recorder and, uh, you know, uh, and you kind of, uh, you have, uh, you know, one person asking questions and one person answering them. And, uh, or if you're, you know, putting up a polyethylene A tent, you you know, audibly narrate what you're doing uh, as a form of self-operational media, and uh, uh, they never it never panned out. It never panned out because uh, uh, Rayo and his, uh, his colleagues, uh, at least one reason was they didn't uh, think it would be too valuable, and secondly, uh, back then tape recorders were probably pretty expensive, so uh, there were some barriers to entry. They couldn't obtain the tape recorders, so uh, that's a pretty major uh, difference between. Then and now, any schmuck can get access to a podcast. I don't mean that in a negative way, but anybody can. If you don't have internet at your house, you can go use uh, public Wi-Fi. Uh, you know, so there's there's plenty of ways for people to uh, access information, whereas it was uh, certainly more difficult then. Um, I guess I'll, I'll just stop there because this will be a bigger one. I, I guess any uh, any points there? Oh, there's the the technology wise, is, the difference is incredible. Uh, when, when in Rayo's day, they were Using magazines, uh, magazines, articles, uh, things like that, publications that came out once a month, maybe, and there were five or six dozen, or may, may, let's, let's hypothetically let's say let's say that there were there were a hundred, let's say there were a hundred magazines publishing once a month. That is that is a hundred pieces of self liberation media, articles, um, uh, letters, things like that. You might get. Five six hundred pieces of of self liberation oriented um, items, right? Five hundred. You do two or three podcasts a week, right? Seeds of Liberty, they do theirs. There's there's thousands thousands of podcasts that are that are discussing self liberation and anarchism and economics and things like that. There's there's bloggers. Stimmit. Stimmit is full of people publishing self liberation media. Uh, when they're in Rayo's day, they were doing five, six hundred pieces a month. Now we're doing three, four, five thousand a day. So the the barriers to technology are are a huge. Are the the difference in technology is huge now. Uh, as opposed to then, I mean, you can do, you can go online and download free audio software, and you can record who we are now and and post it yourself. You can do YouTube. There's there's DTube. There's all sorts of other websites that you can post videos to. You can do Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Snapchat. There's the 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 ability. 